Hey guys, uh, as promised uh, in the last video, uh, we were to add a link to add book and uh, we were to create one middleware where we will be checking if the current user role is admin, then only we will allow user to uh, add book, otherwise we will disallow user to add any book. But before moving forward, uh, if you have not subscribed my channel, please do. It really helps me keep motivated to make new videos. And in the future, I am also going to make videos on machine coding, which is really important uh, uh, for any tech interviews. So keep uh, please subscribe and uh, uh, press the bell icon so that you will uh, be notified when new videos are posted. So before any delay, let me just uh, continue. So first we will be adding you know uh, link. So to add link, just open the page which is responsible for a header. So let me just go to partial header. Here you will see add book. So you can replace. So what was the link to add book? So to link link to add book was add uh, book slash add book. Okay. So this was the link book slash add book. So this was the link to add any book. Okay. okay so if you go to front end and uh, refresh this page and click on add book you will be redirected to login page because we were we have added log logic where user cannot add book be, uh, add book if he or she is not logged in okay so that is the main uh, you know aim so uh so let me just create one middleware where we will be checking if user is admin if user is not admin then we will not allow user to add any book okay so let me just first to check a uh, uh, user model so what information we have in the user model model so here if you check role in the role we have three role a student admin and teacher so we only want if current user is admin then only we want user to add any book okay so let me just create one model middleware here we will uh, create one middleware and we will name it as authorization dot middleware dot js so we are naming this middleware as authorization so authorization is basically used for this purpose like to you know check if user has permission to do any action on the application so let me just copy this thing we will modify this according to our need so i have copied it here and uh, okay now what we will do we will fetch user id from the cookie and uh, if user not user id then we will redirect user to login page otherwise we will check we will fetch user information from the database so here we will call const so let me just check if we have user service anywhere present or we have created or not so let me just check services borrow user service find user by id we have one method find user by id so we can use that method so here we will write user service and here we will require services okay format now what we will do we will here we will call here we will call await user service dot find user by id and what user id we have got user id so if this is user id then here we will check if user dot 
role equal to equal to admin not equal to equal to admin then we will redirect then we will redirect user to redirect user to home page with the information like you don't have permission to add book you don't have permission to you don't have permission to perform this action so this is a more generic message i'm adding otherwise if user role is not admin then we will do this otherwise we will uh, proceed to next if user role is admin then we will proceed to next okay now we have uh, created authorization uh, middleware let me uh, just uh, name this uh, means uh, middleware as is admin so i'm naming this middleware as it is admin we will require this middleware in the route so if you go to routes in the book route here we will just uh, okay so first uh, let me just uh, call this middleware in the index.js so here we will call authorization middleware equal to require authorization middleware and here we will just pass this thing and uh, if you go to route here we will just call the authorization model and in the add book here after authorization uh, authentication middleware we will just check if this uh, current user which is authenticated is admin if this is admin then we will uh, redirect user to uh, uh, add book method otherwise we will disallow that request but i think we have to you know uh, some we can do some code refactoring because that this thing is already handled in the uh, authentication right so we don't have to write everything here as well so we can what we will do we will just fetch user id from request dot user id request dot user id okay if not user id then we will redirect otherwise okay so this is you know more uh, a clean code and uh, let me just check by adding uh, any book so let me just check our, uh, what user do we have currently we have a student a student Okay, so let me just try login. Okay, so I'm logged in. So let me just try adding any book. Test cover image. So if this is a student, then this will not allow me to add any book. Look, it redirected me to home page because I, I, we don't have permission to add any book. So that's why it redirected me to home page okay and if you uh, go to a uh, home page uh, you know slash book so you will see only one book present okay now what we will do we will change uh, uh, we will change uh, this role to admin from the database itself let me just update it now let me just again uh, refresh it go to add book here i'm just uh, test rule cover image isbn general i'm uh, I, I will add a uh, action okay publisher 
this thing add book now look it added a uh, uh, second book which is test row because the current user has permission to add this book so that's why it uh, uh, it is added you know now let me just add one more link in the header okay so currently we have uh, we have to you know type everything so let me just open that views uh, if you go to views layout uh, not layout partial header here uh, i'm going to add one more link which is to uh, show books so here books here i will add slash book so this route will display all the book percent so let me just replace it here if you click you will redirect to book here you will redirect it to add book okay or uh, i think uh, one more thing we can do so add book you should not see uh, add book form itself if he or she does not have any access to do it so how you are going to do it uh, do it think just think about it so we have uh, one router here right and this router is responsible for rendering that form so what if if you add this route here itself so in by doing that what it will do it will check if user is admin if user is admin then it will redirect user to add book form otherwise it will redirect user to home page so this will also work right so if you refresh currently we are getting this form let me just update again to a student i will show you that a student and update it let me just refresh it okay look this is redirecting user to uh, home page if you click on here it will redirect user to home page because user don't have permission to view that form because user are currently role as a student and a student cannot add book so that's why it is redirecting user to home page in the future we will uh, not show this option because it is useless to show this option to a student because if he or she is not uh, able to perform this action then why to show this uh, in the menu so we will be doing uh, we will be handling this kind of uh, uh, this kind of work in the future and we will be hiding this uh, sign up and login button uh, itself in the future because if user is already logged in then don't show sign up and login again because this is really confusing here we will see profile information like uh, profile or some other button so that we will be, we will be doing in the uh, 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 upcoming videos so that's it so that's it so in this video we have seen uh, how to create a authorization middleware we have used that authorization middleware in the route we are we have seen like if user have permission to perform some action then only uh, he or she can perform that action so that's it thank you so much for watching this video uh, hope you liked it and if you have liked it then please subscribe to my channel it really helps me keep motivated to make new videos Thank you so much.